ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Entrepreneur Middle East. We're here at Jitex Day 2 and with me is a very special guest here at the Duo Pavilion and that is Salim al -Bluchi. He's the Chief Technology Officer at Duo. What a pleasure meeting you and shukran. Thank you. Thank you, Mina, for having me in this interview. How are you today? How's everything? Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Can't be better. We are very engaged in Jitex. Jitex is very active. Uh, actually, it is a platform where we meet our customers, where we engage with our partners, uh, and everybody here is trying to show the future, actually, demonstrate the use cases that pave the way for the future, and we have seen many use cases, and do stand, we are positioning ourselves, how we enable all the verticals in the country to achieve the leadership vision, mm -hmm. to position the UAE as a technology leaders in all the fronts. Right, right. And being the Chief Technology Officer, I assume you speak a lot about the future and about those improvements and developments that we need to do. So tell me a little bit about your job as a CTO. What are your daily responsibilities? Actually, daily responsibility to provide the best uh, services to our customers. Mm -hmm. Actually, and, and we are, as, as a mission critical infrastructure provider, we understand we are, we are at the core of enabling all the sectors in the UAE. Mm -hmm. So any reluctancy, any uh, any uh, any degradation in our performance will impact the whole nation. So therefore, we are very committed to, uh, to de deliver the best infrastructure in the world, uh, the best capacity, and which result in best experience to all the sectors, being consumer, being business, uh, being our, the governmental sectors. So today, UAE, the leadership of UAE in infrastructure and in telecom industry in, at large, and specifically do leadership mm -hmm. in 5G, resulted in uh, positioning the country as the best infrastructure uh, for, uh, and the best digital adoption in the world, actually, from end-to-end -end perspective. Right, and I did hear you guys also got the UCLA award for your connectivity as well. Yeah, of course. The, from from Okla, Okla is of course the, the benchmark. Okla that drives is uh, and challenging us. Uh, and giving us visibility, where's our position and mm -hmm. how we continue leading. Today, UAE is the fastest network in the world from Okla perspective. Do is the second or third, actually, depends on the, on the, on the classification. Right. In, the, in the world, okay, again, we are talking about world positioning, not regional positioning. So we are the fastest network in the world. From 5G perspective, Do is the most advanced infrastructure in, 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 in 5G. Uh, Okla partnership, actually, we have direct partnership with Okla where we have the readings. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where we optimize the infrastructure using Okla, uh, the Okla data actually. Right. So we leverage on Okla data, take it in our AI platform, in our OSS uh, operational support systems, mm -hmm. and we take a lot of decisions based on those uh, the, the, the variables and customer experience, and accordingly we optimize the network mm -hmm. and roll out the infrastructure. Right. And without a doubt, you guys have such incredible responsibility in doing it, as you said. But with all of that, usually comes challenges. So I have to ask you, if you can name a couple of challenges that you guys are facing and actually, you know, making sure that everything goes by plan because it's not easy to be a benchmark and it's not easy to be the best in the world because all eyes are watching you, right? Exactly, actually. Today we are at the leadership of 5G, mm -hmm. 5G infrastructure, and this leadership that we are celebrating today, it is an outcome of a journey. Actually, this, this journey started from technology perspective in 2015, mm -hmm. but I'll talk when the 5G started in 2019, the, 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 the first question, do we have a business case to roll out 5G? So this was the debate. Shall we start in 2019 or wait until the ecosystem gets mature? 2019, some, some of the vendors, they announced pre-5G. At that time, there were no single handset that supports 5G. We were forced to go to the market and search for a handset, very, very minimum number mm -hmm. of handsets that supports 5G. So in this discussion, suddenly, a, a, a decision came, actually board, after discussing, debating with the board, board de decided that for do to win in this industry, in this market, we need to lead in 5G. So vision was very clear. We have been given the direction, lead in 5G in 2019. Mm -hmm. So this was again clearly articulated in 2019 with clear vision, clear support, and the or and it, is, it was not only do board, actually it was orchestrated at the country level. Mm -hmm. TDRA reacted to that. They allocated the spectrum for, for UAE to lead. Mm -hmm. So the spectrum was distributed in, in, in a professional way. Uh, the investment board were very open. Do board, the ITC board were very open. And, and they told us what you need to lead. Mm -hmm. And they were very open from financial the network. And then how to fill this capacity. So then the, the push where in our commercial arm, you need to fill the capacity. We build the infrastructure, you need to fill the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Again, it's another success story where today our, the, 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 our 5G platform carries 76% uh, 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 
of overall mobile traffic. Incredible. So, so the second challenge, build, we build the capacity again, we build the infrastructure, we fill the infrastructure. Third challenge, with customer adapting to this infrastructure, it is a new infrastructure, new CPs. We had some customer experience issues. CPs was new in the market, so how we can how we address those this mm -hmm. challenge? We formed internal task force, force cross-functional addressing each individual customer issue, and we managed to uh, to improve our NPS mm -hmm. by 20 percentage by 20 percentage point, which is significant in our industry. Right. So three challenges where it has been addressed by collaboration, Excellent. by vision started with vision collaboration, challenging each other, and we draw the value from, again, vision, from capacity and filling that capacity, of course. and from customer experience perspective, which we managed to improve. So today, again, we are at a leadership of 5G worldwide, thanks to all those engagement from end-to-end -end perspective. Amazing, amazing. Was the phone curt or it was fine? It was okay? And you know, challenges, they always remain challenges and remain problems if they're not solved. So it's great to hear that you guys actually have, you know, plans how do you elaborate on that challenge and how do you solve it and how do you make sure it doesn't happen again in the future because all of us i mean we get shattered with challenges every day it's a part of life but sure. it's on us whether we make it a lesson that we've learned and we change something about it or we keep just repeating the same mistake which is as obvious you guys are not doing so so it's great to hear it's great to hear now tell me all of these things that you just told me what sort of principles what sort of values are kind of guiding this vision in your opinion so from from technology perspective i talk what i talk, i talk about what are the principles we talk in our rollout uh, mm -hmm. aspect so we 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 in the beginning we started with a smart rollout where value uh, where we implement the 5g network wherever is the value so it was mm -hmm. a, a value based rollout infrastructure until we covered the umbrella coverage of 99 percent of the country then the second uh, strategic direction that we need to increase deep indoor coverage so that has, as well with, went with specific strategic direction to, incro, to increase our IBS, indoor coverage uh, in, in the malls, mm -hmm. in the airports, and, and where people actually uh, are moving from one place to another. So that, this was an, an area of focus. Uh, the efficiency, and efficiency from cost perspective, because the more sites you roll out, the more network, how we manage our cost, how, how can be efficient in that. So we embedded mm -hmm. AI in that, in the scalabilities. Uh, we, we, we had the modernization in the network as well. We implement different technologies to to, to ensure our the, the, uh, our cost our mm -hmm. we are efficient in the rollout. Uh, the third angle sustainability, with the rollout of 5G, expected the CO2 emission is uh, almost doubling in, in our infrastructure. The utility bill is increasing by by almost double because 5G is power intensive uh, technology that mm -hmm. require huge huge capacity and power, and we were very innovative in that. We used AI. How uh, associating uh, the resources in the network with the traffic. So whenever there is high traffic, we enable all the resources. Right. When traffic goes down, we disable the resources. And this is done in closed loop based on AI capabilities. Mm -hmm. So there is no human intervention. All these resource allocation and disablement done through a, a closed loop decision making, making by AI. This is one aspect we implemented solar and tower. If you walk in Dubai, you see some of our sites. Solar and tower. Yes. This resulted in good efficiency as well, controlling our power consumption. We upgraded the battery system Amazing. from legacy to lithium-based battery that mm -hmm. gave us as well uh, improvement and hand, uh, handling the CO2 emission. Mm -hmm. And many similar initiatives that resulted today. We are controlling the efficiency despite Amazing. the fact that we have more than 700% increase in the traffic. 700% mm -hmm. increase in traffic for the last four years. However, uh, we are able to con to be more efficient from both from gre sustainability, greenhouse mm -hmm. gas emission, net zero uh, plan, and from efficient mm -hmm. being efficient in the in operating this infrastructure. Right. And I suppose AI is a very very important part of all of this. Of course, of course, a AI is key enabler for uh, whatever we are doing today mm -hmm. in in our success story. Uh, understanding network. Actually, AI is we started the journey in building our OS stack, open the operational support system stack, mm -hmm. where we build our data lake for AI to be functioning. With the uh, with expected outcome, the value creation data is key. So mm -hmm. we from day one we knew that we built first our data lake, network data lake. So all mm -hmm. network elements, the messages and traffic generated from those those uh, network elements are captured in our data lake. So now it is a matter of implementing use cases on top of data lake and max and, and generating value. Right. And for AI, we have a specific strategy, autonomous network. So it is an, uh, our strategy to achieve autonomous network level four by 2028, mm -hmm. and we have clear roadmap for that. 
we are leveraging again on our data lake, leveraging in partnership with different, uh, different partners in the industry to achieve our ambition plans. Amazing. And you know, I have to say, we are very spoiled here in Dubai and we want everything to be ready now. We don't want to wait for it, especially now with all the technology that is surrounding us. We want things to be done immediately. How do you balance between, you know, that customer want of having things done immediately and then including that long-term execution and long-term vision into all of that because they're two very separate things but they have to work together eventually for for due to be successful right actually as cto and 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 a, a, a network expert i can claim uh, we like such such demanding customers okay. and and definitely our customers they challenge you <laughs> definitely otherwise we'll be in comfort zone yeah so our customers are they continuously demand uh, uh, for, for, from bandwidth, from coverage, mm -hmm. from experience, from, uh, from, from product perspective. So this is the this, the, these demands are resulting for us to be innovative, mm -hmm. to cope with the demand. Again, because of this relationship, customer demanding customer, uh, vision, leadership vision, and execution capability, those mm -hmm. three resulted, again I repeat, we are the best infrastructure yes. in the world. In the world, we are the best infrastructure because of the, the three pillars, vision, Execution capabilities mm -hmm. and demanding customer. Right. Demanding customer being consumers, being inter B2B, being again the government. And because of innovation, because of the customer requirements actually. They demand for a reason. Definitely. Working from home, uh, the digital uh, capabilities in the country. So all those things resulting in demanding customer that we need to cope with that. Right. And we are, uh, we are alhamdulillah again improving uh, yeah. day on day, year on year, and we have clear strategy for the way forward. Amazing, yeah, of course the customers here keep you on your toes fully because we're so intertwined with technology here, I think, that we want things to be the best of the best because this is where we're used to, Dubai is like that, you know? Now, I have a little trivia question cards for you. You have to pick one and read out your, your question to the audience. Go for it. Take this one. So, how, how do you make decision when you don't have all the answers? We would love to hear. What do you have to say? So my my, my view on decision making perspective uh, as a leader of the of, of the of the of the function, it is always taking first taking decision. I, and and I, I tell my people, that taking decision is better not, better than not taking any decision. Mm -hmm. When when you you don't take decision, you are destroying value, because yeah, either when you take a decision, it is two direction. Either it is right decision, so you go in the right direction and you win, or it is wrong decision. So you, you have the learning, and you, you, cap, you, you have that learning, you capture from that experience, and do it again. Go to another direction. But the worst thing is that when we are meeting, we go out of the room without decision making. That is, we all understand we are destroying value, we are steady state, we are not progressing in, to the next level. Progress means I, either we progress by learning, so we go mm -hmm. somewhere, we fail and learn and come back and move again. Which is fine as well. Which is which is fine. Actually, I'm personal. I'm a hiker. I understand really? multiple okay. routes. I understand that sometimes I take decision to to go to X route, <laughs> then it is blocked by mountain, by by maybe a cliff. Then I go back and try another route. Yeah. So similarly, actually, in business, we have to take decision. Otherwise, if I am steady, nothing will happen. Right. And you destroy more value without taking without, by right. not taking decision. So decision making is key of leadership, of course, uh, a skill. And uh, and again, it is something big. It creates big value to the to, to the decision to, to the ecosystem at large and engagement of people actually, because people are waiting for the leader to take a decision. If you don't take decision, whole ecosystem will be steady. Yeah. And you, you, you demotivate them. But if you go to a direction, even with a failure, we praise that, we clap to each other and move to the next direction and, and, and we win. Yeah, it's all about teamwork at the end of the day yeah, and having exactly. the right leadership that guides the, exactly. the team in the right direction. Salam, absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for your wisdom, for your advice, for all your knowledge. It was such a pleasure and uh, we wish you the best of luck on the behalf of Entrepreneur and to many more interviews with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mina, for having me and thank you for interviewing as well to schedule this uh, session. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran.